every IV has a bevel. And that's the angle here between the back and then the angle at the cut. And I'm not sure exactly what this is, but let's call that around 30 degrees. And the, one of the secrets here is that the only part that cuts of the IV is that very, very extreme tip. This is going to be really hard to see on the camera, I think, but I'll rotate it back and forth. And if you look really closely, you can actually see how it's ground. And you'll see that that grind only goes up a, f a couple millimeters, if that. The reason that that's so important to understand is that it means that the only part of the bevel that is cutting is this tip. In other words, even though you have what could be seen as a cutting part right here at the bottom, that's not actually cutting. So let me demonstrate this here. If I push the bottom part here into my finger and rub up and down as if I'm trying to cut, I'm not pushing that tip of the bevel in there, so there's no penetration of the skin. And that's a really important thing to understand because we will use this to adjust our angle with IV placement in order to prevent backwalling. This uh, compliant tube is going to simulate our vein. So Remember, this tip is cutting, so you don't need a whole lot of angle down to actually start going through the anterior wall of the vein. You see that there? Sometimes here you'll start bleeding, so oftentimes I'll actually do a little quick advancement. And with my fingers, just so you see what that looked like, it's this. Once I get the tip close to the vein wall, I just nudge it in. So you nudge in to get your flash. And now here's where people make one of two mistakes. Either they try to push the catheter off the needle now, but because the bevel is not entirely in the vein, if you try to do that, you're just going to push it away. See that? Your needle's coming out, your catheter is not advancing into the vein. This is going to be a blown IV. So that's mistake one. The way you take care of not, the way you avoid mistake one is by making sure you advance your needle more. But that can get you in trouble with mistake two. Mistake two is backwalling. So remember how sharp this tip is, and you only need a small angle. So look, if I continue with the same angle, even though it's, what well, I don't know what that is, five, 10 degrees at most, probably less, in that direction, I'm gonna start skimming the back of the, uh, of the vein and you can see it starting to penetrate through right there. And it doesn't take very much angle because that bottom portion is what does the cutting. Now this one's already a little bit dull because we've used it a couple times already, but that does not take much. Conversely, if I try to get to go, this to go through the superficial part of the vein, if I try to go through the front wall, look at the angle that I'm giving there it's not going to cut because that cutting tip, in order for it to be exposed to have access to this anterior wall, I have to overcome the entire angle of the bevel, which we said was maybe 20, 30 degrees. So in order to go through, I gotta really exaggerate it like that, and then I'll have access to going through. So between here, which is a bad angle, and here, which was a bad angle, you want to go right in between. So right in between is not straight. Right in between is a little bit angled up. And then when you advance, you don't advance in the direction of up. You still push so that you're translating forward. But if you do that, you will not blow the IV. So importantly, what we've been talking about applies mostly to large bore IVs. If you look at it, the bevel on this large bore IV, and I'm just pointing with the 20 gauge here, is from here to here. So that entire amount needs to find its way into the vein. If you go too little, you push off the vein with the catheter. If you go too much but with the wrong angle, you end up going through the back wall with this tip. It applies less to the little ones, like this 20 gauge. If you look, the bevel here extends only from here to here. Compared to this 16 gauge, it's much smaller. So it's much more forgiving. 
because you can advance a little bit more without backwalling, and you don't need to advance very much before you can slide off the catheter.